Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Telegram and Google Sheets. So the use case here is, whenever there is a new message in Telegram, we want to save the information in Google Sheets. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Telegram is a software application where you can send your messages, whereas Google Sheets is an online spreadsheet program. The issue here is that Telegram and Google Sheets don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect, a third party application software to integrate both these software applications. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now from here in this product section, I'm going to go to this connect from here. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to sign in. Okay, so now because I have already signed in, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I had like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down and here at connect, I'm going to select access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And now we have to create a new workflow from here, create workflow. So I'm going to click on it and now we are going to name this workflow. So I'm going to name it as Telegram to Google Sheets. Okay, so I'm going to create it. Okay, so now you can see this trigger dialog box over here and you can read when this happens. So we have to choose an app over here. So here I'm going to integrate Telegram and Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So first I'm going to integrate Telegram with Pabli Connect and then I'll integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So our first step integration is going to be Telegram to Public Connect. So I'm going to choose Telegram over here. Okay. In choose method, you can see this set webhook or watch updates. So this is the trigger method here. So now what is trigger? Now trigger can be said as happening of an event. So here the trigger is set webhook or watch updates. So in some methods, what will happen is you will get many other triggers as well. And in case you don't get the trigger of your choice, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger of your choice. Our team will help you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with Telegram bot. So I'll click on it. Okay, so credentials, you don't have to worry about it. When you come here, you can see this token. So now what is token? So token is a kind of credential which helps you to build a connection between two software applications. Here, in this case, we are going to connect Telegram and Pabli Connect. So now let us read what the instruction says. So here it is saying us that we have to go to Telegram and then we have to search for bot father. And then we have to text him this slash new bot in the message box. And then we have to press enter. And after that, you also have to select a name as well as a username for your new bot. Okay, so now let us go to Telegram web. Okay, so I've already opened it over here and now I'm going to search for bot father. So you can see this one with a tag. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now I'm going to start it. So as soon as you clicked on start, you can see it has sent some messages over here. So now according to the instructions written in Pabli Connect, now what you have to do is you have to send this in the message box. Okay, so we'll type slash new bot okay this one so now you can see it is saying please choose a name for your bot so now we have to choose a name for this bot so i'm going to name it as integration okay so now it wants us to choose a username as well so now let us write a username here google sheets underscore telegram underscore two underscore bot 
Now you have to remember that you have to add this bot at the last because then only it will accept this username. So I'm going to send this. Okay, so it has accepted this username. So now you can read done. Congratulations on your new bot. You will find it at this link. So you can find your new bot at this link. So now I'm going to copy this token key from here and I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, so now because we have pasted this token key, what will happen? Now this token key will help Telegram and Pabli Connect to build a connection with each other. So I'm going to click on save. So now you can see this webhook URL over here. So sometimes what happens is when you choose an app and the method over here, after that, what you have to do is you have to copy this webhook URL from here and you have to go and paste it inside the trigger software application. But here in this case, it is not required because we have already done it through token. So now when you click on save and send test request over here, the webhook will be created automatically. The data will be sent to this URL without us going and pasting this URL in the trigger software manually. So I'll show you. I'll click on save and send test request now. Okay, so you can see webhook was set. So now whenever there is an activity in the trigger software application that is telegram here, Pabli Connect will capture the data automatically. Okay, so now I'm going to capture the webhook response. So when I click on this, you can see it is waiting for webhook response. Now what we have to do is we have to go to telegram and we have to send a message. So I'll go to telegram web. Okay, so here we are at telegram. Now here we can see our new bot. So I'm going to click on this link. And let me click on start. Okay, so you can see our integration bot has been added to our conversation. Now before sending a message, what we have to do is we have to first create a group and there we have to add our this bot. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to create a new group. Okay, so I'm going to search for my new bot over here. Okay, so this was the bot that we created. So I'm going to click on it and we are going to click on next. So let us give a name to this. So I'm going to give it as telegram to Google Sheets. So I'll create the group. Okay, so now we have created the group. Now you have to remember that you have to make your new bot as the admin of the group. And you can do that by using your mobile phone. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to send a message here. New task integration of telegram and Google Sheets. Okay, so now let us go to Pabli Connect and see if it has captured this message or not. So I'll go to Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see we have got the API response. First name is Pabli demo. Title is Telegram to Google Sheets. Okay, and you can see the message as well. New task integration of Telegram and Google Sheets. So now we have successfully captured the data from Telegram. So I'm going to save this. So here we have finished our first step integration and now we are going to begin with our second step integration. So I'm going to click on this plus button over here. And now we have to integrate Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to choose Google Sheets over here. This. Okay, in choose method, you can see there are many action methods available over here, but we want to add new row whenever a message is sent by Telegram. So I'll click on add new row. Now, in case you don't get the action method of your choice, you can contact us at admin at the rate for the specific action method of your choice. Okay, so I'm going to connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so here credentials, you don't have to worry. New credentials connect with Google Sheets. So we are going to connect it. Okay, so here you have to choose the account where your Google Sheets is stored. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, so now you have to allow it. You don't have to worry about your data. It is 100% safe and secure. So I'm going to click on OK. Okay, so here you can see some empty fields. So now what we are going to do is whatever information we have got from the API response, we are going to map these details over here. So you can see it has already mapped some details. So I have already created my Google Sheets over here. I have created a spreadsheet over here with the name Telegram to Google Sheets and it is sheet one. And I've already created these three fields over here, chat ID, message and name. 
So we'll go back to Pabli and you can see chat ID, message and name. So now we are going to map the information that we have got here at first step and we are going to put it here. So first let us map the chat ID. So it is here. Now let us map the message. Okay, here. New task integration of Telegram and Google Sheets and name. Now let us search for the name as well. So you can see Pabli. So I'm going to enter the last name as well. So I'll map it again. This one. Okay, so full name is here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so we have got the API response. That means we have built a connection between Pabli Connect and Google Sheets as well. So we have successfully finished our integration. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so let's go to Google Sheets. So here. So yes, you can see we have got the data. So I'll just extend this so that you can see what is written. Okay, you can see the chat ID is over here, the message is here and the name. So now what we have done is we have successfully integrated Telegram with Google Sheets. So now I'm going to show you this again with one more example so that you can understand how this process takes place in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back to Telegram here and I'm going to send a new message now. So I'm going to type second task integration of two softwares. Okay. So now I have sent this second message over here. Now let's go to Google Sheets and see if a new row is added there or not. So I'll come to Google Sheets. So you can see chat ID is here, a message is here and it was sent by same person. That is why same name. Okay, so now let me go back to my Pabli Connect over here. And now I'm going to minimize it. Okay. So what we actually did was we first sent the data from Telegram to Pabli Connect and then it came from Pabli Connect to Google Sheet. Thus, we built a connection between both these softwares through Pabli Connect. So now every time a message is sent by Telegram, it will be added as new row in Google Sheets automatically. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using our Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli .com. Our team will help you to automate your workflows. You can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.